VCV Kicks here and today you can see it's hailing, it is Halloween and I am filming my first video for VCV Kicks-a-thon which happens to be basically messing up a pair of Air Force Ones and bringing them back to life. So I had you all send me um, a couple different ingredients to put on the shoes and stuff like that and we're gonna go to the store, get those ingredients and we're gonna head to the shop, put it on the shoes and film a banger. So I'll see you all when we get in the store. Not yet. <laughs> oh, Lord. Let me find the Nutella. First ingredient we have on the list is Nutella. So we're gonna grab this Nutella. I gotta figure out where it is. Oh, I actually need some, some of this too, because this was on the list for like s'mores. Matter of fact, I might sub the Nutella for this, because this is just chocolate syrup and it goes with the s'mores, which is later on on the list. So we're gonna get that. Um, next thing on the list, let's see, tomato sauce. We're gonna go down this aisle. All right, so we found the tomato sauce. We're gonna add this to the cart, boom. Next ingredient we have to get, which is one I'm not really happy about, is cottage cheese, so let's go get that. All right, we got the cottage cheese. Disgusting, just disgusting. Whoever eats cottage cheese, like, you need to be arrested, like, for real. Uh, next ingredient on the list is uh, s'mores. So we're gonna get some, um, I guess, graham crackers. I have graham crackers at home, actually, and then, I'm gonna get some marshmallows. Let me get the marshmallows, let's go. Marshmallows, so as of right now, we have tomato sauce, Hershey's syrup, cottage cheese, and then uh, the last thing that I think I need to grab from here is, uh, that low key might be it. But I might just grab some stuff for myself just to throw it in there to make it even more interesting. So, extra ingredients, surprise ingredients, let's go. Ninety-nine. All right, so we have all the ingredients. You all will see it when we get to the shop and we start this thing, but I'm super excited. I added a couple extra things. Um, hopefully this should be better than the last, but the last one I didn't record, so you all will get to see something new and exciting. All right, y'all, so now we're here in my shop. I have my gloves on, and here are the ingredients to mess up these Air Force Ones. Now, what you're probably thinking is, Blake, these are already worn. Like, yes, this is my personal pair. Um, these were due for a clean anyway, so I thought, why not just like use them for the video? Um, oh man, I can't believe I'm doing this, but uh, we're not gonna put all this stuff on the shoe on this counter, because I'm not trying to mess up my table or have to clean up a mess in here, but I'm gonna be using like this little tub or whatever that I have or had lying around. I'm gonna put the shoes inside and then we're gonna, oh my God, <laughs> we're gonna do it. <laughs> so first things first, we're gonna get the uh, Haritos, uh, orange Haritos out, out of the way. Um, Cause I feel like if I put all the other stuff on first and then pour this on there, it'll like wash it off. So I'm gonna start with this and hopefully this will give it a good scent, you know? So it's a can or a bottle, crack this open. Take a sip first for good luck. And then right in on the shoes. Oh God. Oh! <laughs> no! Dog, 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 dog. Oh, dog. I'm hurting. I'm hurting. This is sick. It's all in the shoes, like, oh my God. Should I do a shoey? No, let me stop. <laughs> no, oh, dog, this is sick. Okay, I need something to wipe off my hands real quick. Now that that's out of the way, we're gonna move on to the next ingredient. I think uh, it's only appropriate that I put the beans on next and start putting on that, that nasty stuff, so. I'm gonna crack this open. Borrowed this can opener from your local State Farm down the street. Oh snap! I got the top off, um, and I'm dripping like hot sauce, but nah. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna pour this in there. Oh, that looks so bad, bro! Look at this. 
it's just soaking but this is the black beans i'm gonna pour it all over the shoes in the shoes whatever but it's just filthy bro here we go Ugh, bro, like. mm -mm. yeah and it smells kind of weird switch that in there yeah, nah, that's nasty. That's so nasty, bro. Okay, next thing we're moving on to. Might as well throw the soy sauce in there. So, let's tear this open. One for each shoe. Oh, this is sick. Now we're gonna do the cottage cheese. This I still can't get over. I'm gonna use both packs. Oh, all right. I just hate cottage cheese so much. Oh, oh my God, bro. Like, look at this. This is just nasty, bro. Like, mm, mm, mm. this is gonna make me queasy, bro. Oh my God. Okay. So we have the tomato sauce open. I think this is probably gonna do the most damage to the shoes out of all the ingredients, in my opinion. So we have them in here. Dude, this is so sick. We're gonna pour this on there. <laughs> bro, oh! Look at this, bro, look at this, look at this. Bro, this is nasty. This is nasty, bro. Nasty, bro. To make it at least somewhat appealing, I'm gonna do uh, the s'mores. So we're gonna start with the chocolate. Ugh. I mean, at least it gives it a better smell. But this is already like super nasty, bro. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like, check that out. That looks crazy. And then we're gonna add the marshmallows. <laughs> to make it a s'mores, you gotta put the crunch on top. So we're gonna crunch up this granola or this uh, graham crackers. Ta-da, ta-da, bro. Oh my God, this is sick. <laughs> now what I'm gonna do to make it even crazier, because some people might be like, oh, it's not even on the shoes for real. Blah, 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 blah. What I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna grab the top for this, put it on, give it a good shake. And then, yeah, then there's no excuses. But. All right, so we have the top on. Hopefully this stays. I think it will. I don't wanna be cleaning this up. Oh, um, but yeah, we're gonna give it a shake. Oh! That looks so bad, bro, that looks so bad. Dog, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to clean these, bro. This is so nasty. I'm just gonna sit these on the table so you all can get a look at what it looks like now. Bro, I might throw up, bro, I can't. I can't, bro. I can't. Gotta get a before pick out of this. Bro, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't make this up. I can't make this up. As you all can see, these are just disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> I have no words, bro, but we're gonna use Rejuvenator to help us clean these up. So um, I have faith in Rejuvenator products and uh, if you all wanna give them a try, well, especially after you see me revive these, uh, use code BTB for 10% off on their website. But we're gonna dive straight into this. I actually might take these home with me. But All right, so I basically figured that I didn't have all my supplies in here. I took them home, so I'm gonna take these shoes home with me, which will give the ingredients time to basically marinate on the shoes in the meantime so i'm gonna get these packed up somehow and take them home and then you all will see me when we get back to the crib all right y'all so we're back at my house in my second lab i should say really my primary lab um we have the shoes right here they've had time to marinate they're absolutely filthy still let's take a look yeah we're gonna start on the right shoe Ugh. and i'm gonna do the left shoe off camera but 
Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, they stink so bad, bro. Ooh, they stink so bad. Let me, uh, yeah, let me put these here for now. Set this over here. Well, first things first, um, I want to say go ahead and get you some Rejuvenator because they are the ghosts of the sneaker restoration game. And I've always used their products. They've always been super good. Use code BTB for 10% off your purchase if you want to try them out. But for this restoration, we will be using the three brush kit with the sneaker cleaning solution as well as um, their laundry system, which includes their sneaker laundry bag and their sneaker laundry pods so we're gonna use this for this restoration i don't think they really need much else but we're gonna get into that so first things first we're gonna get started on these and i'm gonna start getting this debris off of the top of the shoe all right so we're gonna wash some of this off so far so good it's uh oh man the Stitching around the toe looks like it's already stained. Um, as well as stitching all around and inside of the shoes. Like the sock liner looks pretty bad too. Ugh. <laughs> so nasty, bro. That is so filthy. Like that is so filthy, dog. So I got the majority of that off. Nah, bro, I gotta get it more off. All right, so now that the majority of all that gunk and BS is off the shoes, now we just have to get the majority of it out of all this. So what I'm gonna do first is put these shoe trees in from Rejuvenator. Now it's in there, I'm gonna take the laces out. This is so disappointing to see these looking like this. Oh my God, bro, this, this is so nasty, bro. I just can't. Ugh. This is, uh, like, I see the kind of cheese, like, dude. Dude, 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 this is disgusting. All right, so I got the laces out. I want to take the insole out, too, because this is... This is so bad, like, it's stained on the inside. Ugh. We're gonna start with the soft bristle brush. Dip that in there. I already put the solution in the water as well. Just gonna get the scrubbing. It's seeming to come off pretty easily. I'm not gonna lie. I thought this would be more of a challenge for real, but this is very early days. This is very early days. And I'm hitting the sock liner. And the dirt, like the, the food and all that is coming right out, very surprisingly. Still scrubbing the tag. It looks like the, uh, whatever this is has stained it to some degree because I still see like an orange tint. So I think that's the uh, tomato sauce. Now um, I've cleaned the sock liner the inside of the tongue. Now I'm kind of hitting the stitching softly with the soft bristle brush first, kind of getting it ready. And then I'm gonna start moving on to the medium bristle brush to get an even deeper clean on the material and get in between like that little crack of the line to touch the uh, threading more. But so far this shoe is actually cleaned up pretty well. Um, I might have to use some of that Rejuvenator deodorizer spray uh, to get rid of some of that tomato smell because these really smell like, like pasta, bro. Now I moved on to the medium bristle brush. And like I said before, I'm just hitting the threads on the midsole. I'm gonna go back over the tongue a little bit because I think it's stained from the tomato sauce. So hopefully that can help get it out or get a decent amount of it out. But the shoe overall does not look bad. Not bad at all for what we did to it. Last but not least, I'm gonna use a stiff bristle brush to once again tap the, the stitching on the midsole and then hit the bottoms as well to give these a better clean before we put them in the wash. So now we're gonna use everyone's favorite, the steam gun to hit the bottoms and get this off. But I gotta lather it up a little bit first. 
just to make sure I'm using as much as I can when it comes to the soap and then the heat of the steam getting it off. That's hot. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. All right, now the other part. Nothing too crazy with the insole. I just gave that a quick scrub with the soft and medium brush. I'm gonna rinse it off and see what's left. And then last but not least, after I re rinse it, you see, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. But last but not least though, we have to deal with the laces. And th these were pretty bad, so what I simply like to do to clean my laces is I just take them, drop them straight in the solution, dip them a couple times, and then I massage them in my hands. But you're just gonna keep doing this, and then squeeze, see what comes off. And then repeat as many times as necessary. So I'm probably gonna drop them back in there again. Boom, because they still look a little bit stained. Same thing. Time has come, I've cleaned both shoes, and now I'm gonna send them through the laundry or the washing machine using Rejuvenator's laundry system. This is how I typically put the shoes in. I put the laces in first, and then I put the shoes in, um, and they have to be kind of like opposite of each other, so I went toe first on this one, and then on this one I'm gonna go heel first. Put them in the bag. Then I take one Rejuvenator laundry pod, and then I put it in the bag. Close it up. Then close it on this end. And I put them in here. And always wash on cold. Always make sure you put it on cold. I put mine on a speed wash, cold, and then we wait. I'll come back to you all when they're all finished and you all will get to see the final results. All right, y'all, so this is pretty much the end of the video. As you can see, the shoes are brought back to life, and yes, this is the same pair of shoes that you all saw me destroy with all those different ingredients. I appreciate everyone who dropped an ingredient on IG and basically to put on the shoes. I didn't put all of them on there. Um, there were a couple I left off because they, it would have for sure destroyed the shoe as far as like there wouldn't be any coming back. Kind of keep it within range of like, real, like being realistic what I could actually put on the shoe with, without it like actually destroying the shoe. But I uh, hope you all enjoyed the video. Road to a thousand subs, man. I'm so, 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 so close. I have a lot of ideas that I'm just banking up and saving in videos I have to film. So... I hope you all are ready for those. And it's, it's just some new stuff that I wanna experiment on and kinda, kinda just bring something new to the table when it comes to sneaker content because I feel like all this stuff, all the sneaker content nowadays is kinda washed and we've kinda seen everything. So I wanna bring that excitement back to the sneaker world and the sneaker community and get things popping. So I hope you all enjoyed the video once again. Drop a like, comment, and please subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one.